It's a gear tester here and welcome to my firebox stove unboxing video. This is a great big package of stuff from the wonderful people at fireboxstove.com. Here's kind of a little list of the items they have sent me here and I'm really happy to be announcing that I'm going to be partnering with them over the next year on bringing reviews of their products to you. So I just want to take this opportunity to show you some of the stuff uh, that I got, I'm receiving in this package and over the next three or four months you guys will see individual videos. You'll also probably see them in my videos just from time to time because I'll be using them on different outings and things. So, one of the first little items here on the top, this is the coffee spit, okay? And these are all items that you can purchase from fireboxstove.com. Okay, so this is a little coffee spit. This is the little part that you put your meat or vegetables or whatever you might be doing. And then these two rods go in either side. This runs about $35, I think, on their website. And this is stainless steel. There's no way you could talk somebody into welding uh, the little rods up and having a sweet little case like this with a snap on it for the price that you're going to pay. So I think that's super awesome. This was a Kickstarter item and uh, is now one of the items that's featured on their website. Got some little tongs. Okay, these are cheap. I think three or four dollars. One of the things that I really like about Firebox, the Firebox stove people, is these little individual items that they uh, have gathered together, and then uh, these are relatively inexpensive individual items, but they found the right ones and the right combination that make a great kit or go together really well, but that the people that are uh, producing this little thermometer and these little components probably would never then put them together with the other thing. So this is a little grate that goes in one of their billy cans. This goes on the top of the billy can, allows you to hold coals on there, and this allows you to use the billy can like a little oven. This is the uh, zebra, this is the, the bush pot or zebra pot uh, storage bag uh, that they've talked somebody into producing for themselves or for them. Here is the three quart zebra billy can. Okay. And if I'm understanding correctly, this has been modified significantly. Uh, by Steve, uh, the owner and operator of Firebox Stoves, by putting these little tabs on there uh, rather than the plastic ones that come standard on the Zebra uh, okay, bush pots. Um, stainless steel, what happens is with these, with the little addition, this locks in place. Uh, so if you're cooking in it, so if you have uh, food or different things and you're using it like an oven, um, then uh, you can rotate it and the lid doesn't pop off because it's held in place and you don't have to worry about getting it in the fire or burning it uh, because it's got metal instead of the plastic components. You'll see here that there's a hole drilled in here that's a five dollar upgrade and that's for the little uh, thermometer here to go in there so you know just how long you're cooking whether you're cooking a chicken in here or whether you're baking in here or some bread or something like that, um, this will let you know what the temperature is like. So again, Steve has put all these little items together. It would be a lot of work to come up with these ideas on your own and then buy them and have it not work just correctly. He has a whole bunch of things that work well together. We've got a little cup here and a Nalgene bottle with a Firebox stove logo on it. That's one of the options you can get. And then I think one of the, the here's the, the ultimate little item. This is the, the Firebox stove, okay? And we'll get that out and look at it here. So the first thing I'm noticing here, this is the first time I've got my hand on, hands on the Firebox stove, and this is a heavy little item. Uh, when they mentioned how heavy it was on their website, I thought maybe that was 
not true, but it, it's, I mean, I'm picking it up. It's got some weight here. Not, not like a cast iron skillet or something like that, but it is, it is a, a heavy little item here. So here is the Firebox stove, and I'll be doing a video here soon on uh, using this and kind of my initial impressions. So, and then here are components that go on the Firebox stove. Grills and grates and boiling plates and some things. And we're gonna allow it for a greater in-depth video on this here in the future, and I, I'm not gonna try and mess with it and play with it here because I don't wanna look stupid. It's gonna take some time for me to educate myself on how to get that to work. So I thought I'd just take a second here and uh, just explain a little bit about some of these additional components and how they work with the Firebox uh, Billy, okay, the Zebra Bush Pot. Uh, you can see here's the, the pot. It's got an internal smaller, almost pan, and then there's your uh, three-quart uh, can, or Billy can. Uh, what happens is if you want to use this for baking, so if you're going to be using it on the firebox stove, you can have it like this and then use it as an oven, okay? Whether you be baking things uh, like um, brownies or cornbread, that kind of thing, or whether you might be uh, grilling a chicken in it, okay, baking a chicken in it. This is a little rack that's going to fit that's sized just for this size. You have to make sure you're getting the right one to fit right in there. And then they have, they didn't have them in stock when I ordered things from them, but I will be getting them here in the future. A uh, perfectly sized pan that's a very thick, robust uh, aluminum pan that goes in for cooking things like cornbread and different things in it, bread. You can put that in there, okay? So, so that's what this little great, and this stuff is really cheap on their website. In terms of this, I think was less than $8. But to try and make this or to try and find this and get it in stock and then you get it and it's two inches too big or two inches too small, uh, they've, they've done a lot of good work in terms of sizing this stuff. This is a little uh, tray, okay, that's going to snap in. So let's say we're going to be baking in this. You put your top on, you close these little snaps and bring the pot handle into place. Then you'd put this on the firebox stove, okay, and be able to rotate it, make sure you're cooking things correctly. And we'd have the thermometer in place to let us know how hot things were. But if you have it like so with the fire underneath it, this allows you, and I'm, I'm not sure I'm knowing exactly how to clip this in correctly. So the way this works is you get it in place and then it allows you to put coals on the top of your can. And you've got the firebox stove baking from beneath, cooking from beneath. And so it just allows for the heat to be more efficient because you've got coals on the top and you've got the firebox stove cooking from the bottom. So that's how these few little items interface with one another. And again, they no one company makes these. I encourage you to look in the description of this video. There will be a link to the firebox stove website. And if you interact with them, I would encourage you to let them know that if, if you like this video and you like some of this stuff that you're seeing here, and maybe this is the first time you got exposed to the firebox stove, brand, I would encourage you to let them know that you saw them first on the Gear Testers YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. My goal is to produce quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off.